Welcome to Expend, and welcome to your Expend dashboard. In this short series, we'll be showing you how to get your account up and running in just a few minutes. If you would like to use Expend cards, firstly, you will need to complete some essential checks just to make sure your company is eligible for our cards. Firstly, click on the card section in the left-hand panel, open up Expend cards application, Enter your company's house registration number and your information as the applicant. If you are not a director, don't worry, this is just information required for who is completing the application. Once this has been filled in, we will gather some information from company's house, like any directors and people of significant control. For most applications, you just need some basic information on one director, like a proof of ID, a recent proof of address, among company bank statements, this can be redacted, but it must show the company name and address. For any other directors or PSCs, we just need their home address and dates of birth. Our compliance team will then check these details. Once approved, you'll be able to order cards for any employee on your account. Once your application has been approved, you will need to top up your Float account. Within the Cards page, you will see a Float section Expend creates a unique account number and sort code to allow you to send funds to Expend. Just create a new payee within your bank and send funds as needed. You can set up alerts within Expend to notify you when it drops below a certain amount. We'll touch on this later. Adding new users to Expend couldn't be easier. If you head to the Members page found in the left-hand panel, click on Add New Member in the top right, Enter their email and role you require them to have. All users have access to either an Expend card, Card Connect, or out-of-pocket claims. Member access level means that they can only see their own expenses and have the ability to submit a report or claim. A financial reviewer has the added ability to review expenses, and an admin has all the previous features plus overall control of the account, including adding users, controlling their card spend, and access to reporting. To add multiple users, simply add a comma after the person's email, and then type in the next person's email. Once the new user has accepted their invite, you will be able to order them a card. To do this, move to the card section and click Order Card. Select the user that requires a card. You have the option to select a Classic or Flex card. A classic card is a standard prepaid card that you load funds directly, whereas a flex card, our most popular option, allows you to set a spending policy and draws funds from the float account. If you have opted for a flex card, you can set the user's spending policy now, but keep in mind this can be changed whenever needed easily through the cards page. If you ever need to update your payment method with Expend, this can be managed via the billing page. You can set up either a card payment, this can be an expend card, or you can set up a direct debit with your company account. You can have multiple payment methods on file, just select which one you would like to pay with. Expend ensures you are always kept informed. By setting up email alerts, you can be notified when your float account goes below a certain amount, ensuring you always have funds available. We can chase employees who are missing receipts for their expenses, meaning you no longer have to follow up with them, and you can also tailor when an admin or financial reviewer is notified, allowing you to tailor when you review employees' expenses. For receipt chasing, select the days that you want the chases to be sent, and the same for review notifications. Select which days you'd like to be notified that you have expenses awaiting review. Adding your categories to expend is an important step in making sure that business expenses are being logged correctly. Head to the Category section under Settings. If you are using Xero for your accounting software, you can import them directly into Expend using the Import button. This will populate all of your Xero categories into Expend automatically. For any other platform, you can simply add a category, like so, ensuring that the information being added is the same as your accounting software. This then allows your team to select the correct category 
and as well as being accurate in your accounting software. For tracking groups, move over to the left hand panel again, clicking tracking groups. If you are using Xero, you'll be able to import them directly into Xpend. For other platforms, you can add them just by clicking the plus tracking group button in the top right. Ensuring that the information matches your accounting software, this is a great way in keeping track of your projects or expenses incurred to a specific client. Your company structure can be replicated and expend. For example, the sales team can be added into their own team, whilst the marketing department can be in their own, allowing team managers to review expenses, not just the finance teams. To do this, create a team, add a member. Note a member can only be in one team at a time, but a team reviewer can be split across multiple teams. This is great for when people are out on holiday, or you just need some additional approval flows. Now we'll touch on expense policies. Expense policies can be implemented to ensure an expense is submitted with all the information needed. You can make it mandatory to submit an expense with a note, or you can provide a warning to the submitter and reviewer. The same goes with submitting an expense without a receipt. You can set this up so a user needs to submit with a receipt or is given a visual warning advising that a re receipt is required. Thanks for watching. To view our other videos, please click on the description below and follow the links to our other help guide videos. Happy expending.